Hello everybody. Um, today we're gonna share a bit of a um, a solution for a lot of people who are having problem with uh, Wii Wear or virtual Wii games that they install a Wii either a a, a, a wide manager or through um, USB loaded GX. So to just to give you an explain or just to explain the situation for you, um, we've we've got a couple of um virtual games that has been installed on the usb hard drive through the usb loader gx um now you can see those games on the we Wii channel at the top and when we load some of these games you get a black screen or it just doesn't load so if i click on this one it just goes black screen and it doesn't load and if you look at your Wii we mode even that goes black so just to give you an example that goes blank as well so as if it's just completely dead so all you have to do then is just you restart your Wii and you go all over again and it doesn't solve the situation so for those of you who have the same issue um, we'll give you a solution now we've searched uh, the internet all over you know with no solution a lot of people asking to install different operating systems are sorry custom firmware and etc etc but it doesn't work at all um whether you install sneak or neek anything like that it still gives you the black screen so um so for those of you who have installed using usb loader um if you haven't to give you um a bit of a explanation so in, in order for you to install one files on onto your hard drive you basically go to features you go all the way down the first thing you do is you click on this one dump NAND to MU NAND and you select everything it will take probably about three to four minutes depending on the apps on your um you know on, on, your, on your system to make a copy of that and then once that is completed you go on to MU NAND and you select folder here we've got the USB that we are looking to install or looking to install onto where all the WAP files are. So USB has been selected, WAP folder has been selected where all the WAP files are there for all the games and you click OK and it says 29 found do you want to install. So obviously you could have hundreds or you know thousands and you can just click on install and you will install it automatically. However we've already done this. Um, what you then need to do is you need to go to loader option and you need to check here that NAND channel emulation is to full. That's really, really important. It has to be uh, on full. Once you've done all that, you need to then go up and select video mode and chain. But just to show it to you that previously when we clicked on that game, um, which was this one, it went into black screen. So, uh, before we launch that again, we'll show you what you need to do. You go to settings, you go to loader settings, and you change where it says video mode from disk default to system default. And where it says dull video patch, we'll change that to region patch. Okay? The reason for the most of these games failing, it's because they either PAL or NTSC games and they will not load and you will just have a black screen so once we've done these changes you go back we load the same game and see the difference there you go you don't have to do anything else you don't have to install any other whatever you've done your wii mode at the start um it should work it should work if there's any issue please do let us know and share Give us a thumbs up if, if this has helped you. Comment at the bottom. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching.